Recording on. Okay, we're doing number 29 on the complex number worksheet. It is x squared plus 25 equals 0. Okay, x squared plus 25 equals 0. Now there's a couple ways to do this. Um, remember when we had x squared minus 25 equals 0? That's mm -hmm. a difference of two squares. Remember that? Yep. It's going to be x minus 5 and then x plus 5. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh-huh. Yes, zero product property tells me this is zero, this is zero. I'd end up with x equals plus or minus uh, 5. Mm -hmm. Another way to do it would have been to uh, add 25 to both sides, isolating my perfect square. Take square root of both square sides. Square root of both sides, get the absolute value of x equals mm -hmm. 5, therefore x is plus or minus 5. Yeah. All right, this you can do either way, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and subtract 25 from both sides. X squared equals these. X squared equals. Who is it I yell at for wiping? Okay, somebody in pre-algebra always wipes it. Phoebe. Okay. Now, I have my x squared isolated. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. Square root of x squared equals the square root of negative 25. Well, now we can fix this a little bit, can't we? Mm -hmm. Yes. It'd be yes. I times the square root of 25 times. Uh, yeah, I want to pull my eye out, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be, uh, well, you could say square root of negative 1, square root of 25. I'm going to go ahead and show the extra step just so that we'll know we're talking about complex numbers. What is the uh, square root of x squared? Um, the absolute value of x. Perfect. So I'm just going to leave absolute value there for a second. We know that the square root of 25 is what? 5. 5. And what is the square root of negative 1? I. I. So we have the absolute value of x is equal to 5i. So guess what? x is equal to plus or minus 5i. Okay. Now, let's look at that a different way. If I wanted to write x squared plus 25 equals 0, okay? Mm -hmm. I could write it as x squared minus 25i squared equals 0. Zero. What is i squared? Oh, one. Negative, negative one. one. So. Taking a subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding mm -hmm. a positive. Uh -huh. Now it's a difference of two squares. A difference mm -hmm. of two squares. So I can write it as x. Square root of that would be five i and five i. One's a minus. One's a positive. Equals zero. Using zero product property, I get the same thing. X equals five i or x equals negative five i. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. All right. So if you see a plus a perfect square, you can change it to minus a perfect square times i squared. And then you'll be set. Kill it.